remember last Thanksgiving, I was asking one of my friends who was in Australia, uh, do they celebrate Thanksgiving or not? Uh, but then I realized it's probably a dumb question because everyone knows only Americans celebrate Thanksgiving, right? Or maybe I was being dumb by thinking only Americans celebrate it. So the question here is, who celebrates Thanksgiving? And are we even supposed to celebrate that in the first place? Let's find out with what people also ask. <laughs> Welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious and uh, share with you some of those pop, aka People Also Ask, which is a feature telling you what other people also search on Google that related to your query. So today's keyword is Thanksgiving. So the first part is, who had the first Thanksgiving, Canadian or American? The answer is extracted from an article titled, This is why Canada has a different Thanksgiving than the US, published by Insider Incorporated, previously called Business Insider Incorporated, which is an American online media company focused on business and financial news. And guess what, American? According to this article, Canadian might start celebrating Thanksgiving before you do. Canadian Thanksgiving takes place on the second Monday in October, while the U.S. celebrates on the fourth Thursday of November. The earliest recorded Canadian Thanksgiving actually dates back to 1578, well before the pilgrims and the Native Americans feasted at Plymouth in 1621. This article also talks about a lot of differences between the U.S. versions and the Canadian versions of Thanksgiving. If you are interested in this article, I put a link in the description. Alright, so now we know that Canadians celebrate Thanksgiving, but how about Europeans? The next part, do they celebrate Thanksgiving in Europe? Extracted from an article titled, Urgent Thanksgiving in Germany, suggests that at least a small portion of people in some German-speaking countries do. However, it is more religious than the US version of Thanksgiving. Here are some excerpts from this article. The typical German, Austrian, or Swiss Thanksgiving celebration, Urgent is usually a rural harvest time observance with church services, a parade, music, and a country fair atmosphere. European Thanksgiving observance is not anything like the more secular tradition family holiday and fit in Canada and the United States. Unless they live in rural area or are churchgoers, most Germans have only experienced Erdedank Fest by seeing it on the television. This article is published by The German Weight and More, which is a website providing content focused on German culture and life in Germany. I encourage you to check out this website if you are interested in German culture. Well, so what are other countries also celebrating Thanksgiving, you ask? An article titled, 5 countries besides America where people celebrate Thanksgiving, answered our next version. What countries celebrate Thanksgiving? They are 5 countries or regions that do celebrate Thanksgiving other than America. Those countries and regions are Canada, as we have mentioned, Liberia, Latin cities in Netherlands, Grenada, and Australian territory of Norfolk Island. So we have covered a little bit about who celebrates Thanksgiving. I think it's a good time to talk about are we even supposed to celebrate it in the first place? So the next part is why should we not celebrate Thanksgiving? The answer to this question is extracted from one of the Wikipedia entries. National Day of Mourning, which is an annual protest organized since 1970 by Native Americans of New England on the fourth Thursday of November, the same day as Thanksgiving. According to this entry, Native Americans do not celebrate the arrival of pilgrims and other European settlers. To them, Thanksgiving Day is a reminder of the genocide of millions of their people, the theft of their land, and the relentless assault on their culture. What? Isn't Thanksgiving supposed to be the day celebrating the love, friendship, and mutual gratitude between the Native Americans and the pilgrims? According to some historian, it's probably not a whole story. I think it's a good time to talk about another two parts that shed some light on the dark side of Thanksgiving. What did the pilgrims do to the natives, and did the natives help the pilgrims? The first part is extracted from an article titled, A Few Things You Probably Don't Know About Thanksgiving, published by NationalGeography.com. This article provides some detail about what actually happened between Native Americans and the pilgrims. Here's an excerpt extracted from this article. When the pilgrims arrived in Capcot, they were incredibly underprepared, and then show up six weeks before the winter with practically no food, which is a perfect time as everyone knows if you ever live in New England. In a desperate state, the pilgrims robbed corn from Native Americans and their storehouses soon after they arrived. But because of their overall lack of preparation, half of them still died within their first year. Okay, so the pilgrim raided Native Americans, which is definitely not good, but probably nothing compared to the 
things they are gonna do later on, which I will talk about in the next part. So the second article titled The Fisher's Reality Behind the Thanksgiving Myth, published by the New York Times, is written by Davis J. Silverman, a historian at George Washington University. According to this article, the standard story of Thanksgiving tells us when the English Puritans seem destined to become another lost colony, the natives make contact through the interpreters Samoset and Squinto. Osmond who was a sentient of the uh, Wapano Confederacy at that time, even agreed on a treaty of alliance with them. Over the spring and the summer, the Indians see the pilgrims and teach them how to plant corn. The colony begins to thrive. However, the author argued that this version of Thanksgiving stories sanitize the power politics between the pilgrims and the Wapanoak, and distorts history by highlighting the alliance while ignoring its deterioration. Here's what happened following the Feeling Good version Thanksgiving story according to Professor Silverman. For years afterwards, Arthur McQuint threatened rivals in and outside the Wapanoak tribe with violence from his English allies. And after Arthur McQuint's death in 1660, English and the Wapanoak constantly teetered on the age of war because of the colonists' aggressive, underhanded expansion. The tensions culminated in King Philip's War of 1675, in which English killed thousands of Native Americans and enslaved thousands more. Classic colonists. If you want to learn more about the relationship between Native Americans and the Pilgrims, I recommend you watching The Natives and the English, Crash Course U.S. History, Episode 3 by John Green. I will put a link in the description. Alright, let's recap. Today we learned that um, can Canadian might start celebrating Thanksgiving before Americans do. A lot of countries and regions beside America where people celebrate Thanksgiving. The standard Thanksgiving story might be sugar-coated. That's why a lot of Native Americans do not celebrate it. So today's question is, do you think we should stop celebrating Thanksgiving or at least stop associating it with the Native Americans and the children? Let me know your thought. Bye!